Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's not Thursday today, but I do have a new beer for you. Uh, this one is Gemini. It's a milkshake India pale ale with apple, mango, and blood orange. It is from um, from Shorts up over there in Elk Rapids, or brewed in Elk Rapids. Um, I want to say that they're from Bel Air for real, but that's where I've seen them from. Um, 7.2 from what I've seen. Supposed to be pretty good. And don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on Untap, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to tell them. Maybe I can use yours as mine, or at least give you credit for them. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people get to see how great I'm doing at this. All right, let's get this guy going. Okay, so, uh, what's it supposed to be? It's a milkshake IPA, so it should be cloudy. It should be thick. Um, I should have rolled it around a little bit before I, I opened it up, which I did do, just not on camera, because it looks weird to roll it back and forth across t the table. So I did that before. Um, apple, mango, something else, blood orange. I always find blood orange really super sweet without as much acidity as I would like it to have. Whew. Smells like an IPA is what it smells like. Hmm. It's smooth. It does not taste like a 7.2%. Um, five, maybe. Um, but it, it smells like all the things that it said it's supposed to smell like. Apples and oranges and, uh, mangoes. I, and I can taste those in there. Um, it says that it's a, uh, a collaboration with, uh, Starcut. Uh... Yeah, Starcut Ciders, which is the uh, the cidery that brews right there, also in Elk Rapids. So I'm going to guess it's got something to do with shorts. I don't know for sure, because I've never been there, but I'm going to guess that that's the thing. What does it, does this beer remind me of something? Okay, so mangoes have this really weird tendency to be fibrous. Um, if you, if I eat too many mangoes, it feels like there's something scratching at the back of my throat. It probably means that I'm a little bit allergic to them, but I don't know for sure. Um, this has that, that same kind of thing. I've, I've only ever gotten that one other time with a different beer, and that was Slurm Lord, also from Shorts. Um, I like that one too. It's also a, a, um, West Coasty IPA, not West Coasty, East Coasty IPA, one of the New England style guys. But that one, you couldn't really drink, too, because it would make your throat hurt. It wasn't just me that was having that problem. I asked my brother about it, too. He said, yes, I, I have that problem also. We're a lot alike. We don't look much alike, but we are a lot alike. And it could just be that we both have the same allergy to that stuff, but I don't think that's the thing. I think it's a different thing that's in the beer that it actually feels like that. But this kind of reminds me of that. Just not getting a lot of apple. Maybe like Applejack? Maybe something like that. Possibly. It's really good to make pie crusts with. Make a lot of my pie crusts with, uh, with like, alcohol instead of with, um, with water because it doesn't make the gluten come out so much and it makes it a little bit more flaky, tender. It's very nice. I like it a lot. Anyway. Does this remind me of a stripe? Okay, really, what this reminds me of, um, it's the, the can art on this. 
It was out of the night sky. And it reminds me of Thursday nights at Boy Scout camp when I was a counselor there. Because um, this would be weird to do this that many to do that that many times if I weren't. Um, but we go up and there there were usually three of us staff members. Sometimes other people would show up, but mostly it was like three of us staff members that would go out there together. Because, well, um, it was our job. <laughs> we do the path overnighter, so up to like 75 first year scouts. That was a fun night, a long night too. Um, lots of good um, campfire skits though, also. Um, and lots and lots of marshmallows. I think that was back when we were still doing the uh, the Hershey syrup instead of the Hershey bars for s'mores. It seems like a good idea, and it's very cost-effective, but it's not worth it. Just get the Hershey bars. Anyway, um, just, it's the night sky on, on that Thursday night campout, because we'd be up until, like, one, two. I mean, we'd get done with our campfire. The sun usually didn't go around until about 10. So usually our campfire would be started and we'd be able to cycle everybody through for food by by 11. So we'd put the fire out. Usually that took about an hour because a 10 pallet um, bonfire takes a little while to die down enough to cook on. Very good for cooking on though. And also to die down enough so that um, you can actually put it out. Uh, there were not a lot of boards ever left in those pallet fires because that all got burned. I do remember about five years in or so, I was like, hey, we should probably dig that out because it's not a fire pit so much as a fire mound anymore. Um, and it, we should we should fix that. So we did. We dug it out so it was a fire pit. Um, and it was, there was a lot of, of burned stuff in there. I mean, it was all wood, but nails too, because, you know, pallet fires. And, like, lots. I mean, seven weeks camp, you figure 70, pallet, 70 pallets per summer, because usually that's about how many we'd bring. Ten pallets a, per session. So, 70 pallets a year. And I did it for nine years, I want to say. That's pretty close to 700 pallets in there. So, there's a lot of pallets. And a lot of fun. The sky out there in, in Clare County is clear. It felt like all the time, but I know for sure that that wasn't it, because it rained a bunch of times while we were out there. only came in like two or three times. But, and it always upset people, like, oh, you should have been prepared. Um, we were prepared. We had people there. We had a plan in place to get everybody back. So we got everybody back. What am I supposed to do if those kids are all wet and not ready for the camp out? We told them it was going to rain. We went out. We slept out there. I don't know. I don't know. I was ready to go. My bed was nice, warm. I took out my futon mattress and put it in my tent that I kept out there. It was very nice. But yeah, um, most of the time by the end of the, uh, by the end of the, uh, the summer, I could tell what time it was out when I'd wake up in the middle of the night, approximately by the placement of the stars, like Cassiopeia and, uh, and the Big Dipper specifically. Cause they're in certain spots at certain times of the night. Kind of neat to be able to do that. But yeah, that was a good time. Lots of weird stories and strange jokes and inside, inside jokes that would go on out there that nobody else would get. Um, but it was super fun. I missed doing that. That was pretty good. It doesn't taste like another one right yet because it's got one of those, it's not even a flavor. It's a, a feeling to the beer that makes it feel like I don't want another one. <laughs> but it, it tastes good. So 
try it for sure. Absolutely. I would like another one. I just don't think I could drink another one. Anyway, I've got a quote for you. This quote is from Bob Ross, uh, the Afro-bearded dude that painted those pictures on PBS. He said, Don't forget to tell these people in your life just how special they are to you. Um, whomever they are. Whatever they're doing. Make sure you tell the people in your life that they're special to you. You, you won't always get that chance. So... Do it when you can. Anyway, you can find me at TubaJake underscore 69 and untap YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to tell them. I'll tell yours if you want me to. If you don't want me to, let me know. And I'll tell it like I did it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It makes it so that more people get to see and hear what I'm doing here. Um, I'll catch you next time when you get time for a beer. <laughs>